Hello, hello, hello. What's up, people? Oh, God bless you. Bang, bang. Let me know if you hear me, if you see me well. I'm happy to see you today on July 17th on 717. Amen. Now, I feel the Spirit of God brewing, stirring in me very strong, very heavily. I'm very excited about what God's doing. I am in the middle of writing a new blog called The Last Three Months of 5783, The Gemel Anointing. Now, I've been praying into this for the last few days, but today I'm writing it and uh, I'm probably going to release it very soon. The Last Three Months of 5783 of The Gemel Anointing. So very stirred up, encouraged as I'm writing that. And uh, I'm excited uh, about the season that we're in. But I'm about to minister to you uh, about the anointing of decision-making, the decision-making anointing. Many of you are in a valley of decision or are in a teeter-totter happenstance time of decision-making, which means that many of you you feel indecisive or you feel like you're waiting. But I believe right now God is releasing an anointing of decision making so that you can break through, thrust forward, thrust through. And uh, the Lord is going to anoint you uh, with a spirit of boldness. Amen. So let me know where you're watching from. Uh, I want to give you some shout outs here. Uh, it's 717, and I'm very excited. Like I said, I started writing <clears throat> this new blog called The Last Three Months of 5783, The Gemel Anointing. And I'm very excited to release this blog. And uh, I believe these last three months, July, August, September, we are going to see miracle signs and wonders uh, in America, in our life as the Lord brings 5783 to a close. So I'm gonna begin to, uh, I, I am writing that blog and I'm gonna release that soon. But as I'm writing it up right now, in the scribe anointing, I'm getting very stirred. Because the last three months of the Gemel anointing, and of course, Gemel stands for a number of things. It stands for camels, which stands for abundance, wealth, and resources. It also stands for the foot of God, God's foot. The Gemel stands for the foot. And uh, I believe that the Lord is beginning to exercise his authority so that you will begin to walk into new places, realms, and territories and take possession of the land. And as well, Gemel also stands for... Uh, it also stands for, uh, of course, resurrection, because number three in the Hebrew uh, stands for resurrection power. Amen. But I want you to give some hearts and likes, and I want you to pray as you're tuning and tapping in right now. I could already feel a spirit of distraction trying to distract me here today on this broadcast, but the devil's a liar. We're going to have a fun time, an awesome time. Because that is exactly what God's doing in the season, saints. God is destroying the spirit of distraction and chaos. And he's bringing order and alignment into your life. He's bringing order and alignment and truth into your life. Amen. And Jonah, Jessica, I just want to let you know and everybody else know. I do not message anybody privately. All right. I don't. If I don't know you, I don't message you privately. So please, there's a lot of scammers. Every week, they're making a new page. And uh, so just be aware, amen? Uh, but I want you to build up the room, build up the atmosphere. I feel the fire of God. But I want to prophesy to you that judgment and justice is coming. And we're going to start seeing an execution of the glory of God, an execution, a release of the justice and judgments of God. So God bless you. And uh, I want you to just begin to comment below where you're watching from. Because in a few minutes, I'm going to begin to start ministering 
uh, to you on what the Lord has shared with me. And I believe the very crucial, critical, important time we're in right now. But I saw a vision of people wavering and being distracted. And they were being discouraged because there's so much that they needed to do. So many decisions that they needed to make. So much that they needed to do. And I believe the Lord is beginning to clear the table, clear the air, and God is beginning to make a way for you where there seems to be no way. Can I get an amen? Well, praise God. Rob Feller, Arizona in the house. Heidi from South Africa, Virginia. God bless you. Thank you. Rebe Shetanama Karabrosa Tarabrata. Sacramento, shalom to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, South Africa. Hallelujah. Shandarabalata. Let your people know, let your friends know one of your favorite prophetic voices is online, is on the broadcast today. Port of it, God bless you. And I'm looking forward to being back in South Africa. Lord willing, what well, God is willing. Uh, in the month of October. So very excited for that. Just a few day pop up, pop in into the great nation land of South Africa. One of my covenant nations. Hello there, Becky from Lebanon. Thank you, Lord. Shout about this. So I want you to begin to give us some hearts and likes as you're coming in. And I want you to pray. Let's pray. Father, I thank you. We blood block this broadcast. And I thank you right now for clarity and for the release of all that you have in this breakthrough broadcast. Father, I thank you that you are about to release justice and judgment and you are about to release the word of God fresh from the throne room of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want you to say amen. So everybody say fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say fire. Amen. So continue to tag somebody. Share this on your wall. Because I believe this broadcast today, it, this is a very timely prophetic broadcast. And I believe this word is a word of words. This word is a word of words. And this word today is going to be very important for you and for your loved ones to hear, to receive, and to tap into. Can I get an amen? It's going to be a very important word for the Lord to release. Hallelujah. So, Father, I thank you for all they're about to say and do in the mighty name of Jesus. And all of God's people say amen. Well, listen, I know I titled this off the bat, Justice and Judgment, because that is what's happening right now. Uh, and of course, justice, judgment, you know, uh, judgment isn't necessarily a bad, evil thing, right? I mean, uh, we, we, we tend to relate judgment with something very heavy or intense or something very difficult, like it's discipline. Judgment is not necessarily discipline. Judgment actually stands for a finality of decision. So judgment means that there is discernment and there is a decision that is being made. And I believe right now in the courts of heaven, God is beginning to decide destinies for his people right now. God is beginning to decide decisions and destinies for his people right now. I believe right now we are in a crucial state, a crucial place, a season in the spirit where God is beginning to wave off the shaft and the lower lesser level things. And God is beginning to execute judgment and justice for his people. Now, what does justice mean? Justice means that things are being made right. And judgment also stands for a decision of destiny being finalized and being released in the mighty name of Jesus. So I believe right now we are in a season where justice and judgment is being released on the body of Christ. And I believe right now God is making things right. So let me ask you this question. Are you feeling like you are in despair? Are you feeling like you've been in a spirit of confusion and delay and discouragement and you've been going around and around in circles? Well, the Lord says, get ready for decisions to be made. Get ready for a decision-making anointing to come upon his people. Can I get an amen? Now, of course, we are in the three weeks of Tammuz. We are in the three weeks 
of the lowest points, detrimental destruction of all of Israel's history. But I believe in these three weeks, God is resetting things and he's restoring order back to the house of God, back to the courthouse of Jesus. The Lord is restoring order back to his church. Someone say order. So I believe in these three weeks, you have an opportunity to get back, to gain the helm, the seat of captain. You have the authority to take back whatever the enemy stole from you, whatever the enemy has tried to implode or imply upon and against you. But I believe that we have an opportunity right now in the spirit realm for us to begin to gain the helm of the future. Because many of us, I mean, I just keep seeing this in the spirit, decisions, decisions, decisions. And I keep seeing in the spirit a vision of a person going crazy. It's like the spirit of insanity and confusion has been released upon the church and the world where everybody is going cray cray. And I see a vision of somebody, a woman really, pulling their hair out like, ah, I'm, I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm about to explode. I feel like I can't have it anymore. I feel like I'm stuck up to here, I'm caught up to here and I can't take it anymore. Enough is enough. And I believe that God is bringing restoration of order and he's silencing the chaos and he's silencing the negativity, the witchcraft of manipulation. Do I go here? Do I go there? What do I do? And there is a decision-making anointing that God is releasing. Can I get an amen? God is about to silence your haters. God is about to silence the fear. God is about to silence the noise, the distraction, the chihuahuas, the chaos. And he's about to put the rest, your enemies. And the Lord, Rebese, and the Lord is about to release a decision, making anointing over his people. Can I get an amen? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And I believe right now, many of us, we are in the teeter-totter. We are in the valley of decision. I have two important verses to release over you today. Amen. But let's go over here to Joel 3, 14. And if you're with me today, I want to say amen. Praise God. I said praise God. Here, Joel chapter 3, verse 4. And help me to break the numbers. Amen. Help me to break the algorithm. Facebook, the Lord rebuke you. You are under my feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said, I'm in the process of writing up a new blog called The Last Three Months of 5783 of the Gemel Anointing. So I'm very stirred up as I'm writing this up prophetically in the scribe anointing because the last three months of 5783, there's going to be an explosion and an expulsion of the glory of God. The last three months of the Gemel anointing. Amen. Joel 3, 14. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Someone say the valley of decision. Now, I believe many of us right now, we are in a valley of decision. Now, most preachers, pastors will use this verse as a person who is about to give their life to Jesus. Somebody, they're on the brink of giving their life to the Lord. So you're in a valley of decision. Uh, most scholars will interpret, translate this portion of scripture as the end times or the last days where we are before the throne of judgment, the judgment seat of God. And we are before God in the valley of decision. And God is deciding or in a sense is finalizing who comes to the right or who comes to the left. Who enters into his kingdom and is seated at the right hand of God or who enters into the gate of goats. That's, that's a new word I just utter and the gate of goats. Interesting, right? The gate of stubbornness, the gate of evil, the gate of the fallen, the gate of sin. 
But I believe right now, many of us, we are in a sort of valley of decision right now where you need to make some decisions. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I stand back or do I stand up? And I believe right now we are in a season of the valley of decision where many of us are confused, distracted. You feel delayed. You feel behind. And you know that there are many decisions that need to be made. In fact, I see in the realm of the spirit, a gavel coming down. And God is saying, it's done and it's finished. Can I get an amen? And concerning this verse and this word about the valley of decision, many of us are confused, shakara, or lost. And you need to make some big decisions. I, I want you to comment below if you feel sense that there's something big coming. You cannot put your finger on it. It's difficult for you to pinpoint it, but you know great change and transition is coming and is in the air. Can I get an amen? It's because we're in the valley of decision. It's because we're in the last three months of 5783. It's because we're about to step into Rosh Hashanah and the 10 days of awe and there's going to be a finishing of this year and you're going to step into a new Hebrew year called 5783. So many of us, we, we know there's some decisions, decisions, decisions. Why? Because there's something fresh and new that is coming upon us. Amen. And I believe right now in these last three months of 5783, Reb, there's going to be a great grace and a great anointing that's going to thrust the church forward. In the mighty name of Jesus. But even last night, I had a dinner meeting with some friends. And it said, wow, Pastor Ben, we have so many decisions to make. We have so many decisions to make. Possibly we're going to move in the next three months. We need a new job in the next three months. Do I stay? Do I get a new job? What do I do? Et cetera, et cetera. It's because we're in the valley of decision. And I want to speak to you if you know that there are some big decisions at hand. In fact, I see a vision. I saw a vision. I see it still now in the spirit. You, a table is before you with many papers, 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 and you need to make the decision. What do I do? What shall I do? Do I stay connected to this person? Do I stay connected to this ministry? What shall I do? Amen. Do I, do I sign my name on a dotted line? Do I sign this contract? Do I make the decision to go forward with this and that, et cetera, et cetera? And that's what this last week was for me. This last week was so great for me because literally, I mean, I worked, I worked and I prayed and I processed and I wrote. And it was very important for me because I was able to process the last six months whew, of this year. And I was able to start praying into and getting ready to decide for my future. But the Lord is saying, the valley of decision, clarity and truth is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And many of you, you feel like you are in a teeter-totter. Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I sign? Do I not sign? Do I stay? Do I st uh, go forward? Do I connect or do I protect? And I believe in this season, God is saying decisions, decisions, decisions. The Lord is releasing a decision-making anointing over your life. An executive decision-making anointing. Can I get an amen? And that is justice. And that is judgment. God is making things right. Can I get an amen? God is making things right in your life. Praise God. And so I believe many of us, listen, I'm speaking prophetically. And I believe this is probably the most important word that I've shared and or will share in terms of times and seasons for a while. But I believe right now, God is saying decisions, decisions, decisions. There is a decision-making anointing coming over you. Amen. And these decisions are big decisions. They're big changes, big transitions. They are big agreements, alignments, contracts for your future. 
and for your new year. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Now, I want to go to another verse here. Amen. I want to go to another verse here. Continue to tag somebody and share this on your wall in Jesus' name. Let them know one of your favorite prophetic voices is in the house today. Here, Joshua chapter 24, 14 to 15. Joshua 24, 14 to 15. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away, say put away. Put away the gods that your fathers served beyond the river in Egypt and serve the Lord. 15, and if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your fathers, meaning your past, amen? Are you gonna stay stuck to your past in bondage, yoke to what has already happened? Or are you going to take a step of boldness, courage, and faith and break out and break through Break the generational curse. Break the cycle and step forward into the new of serving the Lord your God. Someone say amen. Choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your fathers who served be in the region. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And all of God's people say amen. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I believe right now the Lord is saying, number one, put away. Come on, somebody. Put away. Put away. What does that mean? Put away the noise, the distractions. Put away the things that have passed. Put away the things of the flesh. Put away. Put it down. Put it away. So I believe right now God is saying, I am clearing the table. I am clearing your paths. I am putting away the things of the past. Someone say amen. So God is putting away. So I believe in the season, as we are in the valley of decision, as the Lord is wanting to download and upload and impart into you destiny scrolls, visions, dreams for the future, clarity and truth for now. Number one, the Lord says, put away. Can I get an amen? Number two, the second thing the Lord is saying is choose choose okay now a lot of us we have a hard time choosing and deciding okay and some of us we think it's again i don't want to be in the flesh i want to be aligned with god i want to be in the will of the lord however you can only be in the will of god if you empty yourself die to self still and silence your soul and you listen for the still small voice and god is saying choose which means the power is in your hands. The power is in your free will. The power is in your free will, is in your hands, is in, you have the power, you have the authority to say yes or no, to say yay or nay, to close the door or to open the door. The Bible says, I have given you power to close doors. I've given you keys to close doors. And to open doors. Someone say amen. I've given you keys to the kingdom. So the Lord is saying, I've given you the power and the authority. Therefore, it is your responsibility to bear the consequences or the blessings of what is to come. Amen. And in number three, in this verse we see, the Lord is saying, but as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord, which means that God is saying, when you are aligned with heaven, your whole house will be blessed. Your whole family will be blessed with the outpouring of the overflow of the glory of God. Someone say amen. Right now, there is a decision-making anointing, and God wants to encourage you to make the right decision. Don't be stuck to the past. She thought about, give me some hearts and likes. Don't be stuck to the past. Don't look back. Don't be stuck to past gods. There's a higher level. There's another level. There's another level of breakthrough that's coming. And I believe right now, God is saying decisions, decisions, decisions. Because some of these decisions are going to thrust you into the future 
or it will keep you bound to your past. Now, if you are in a season of transition and you need to make some big decisions, if that's you, I want you to comment that to me and give us some hearts and likes. Because many of you, shit, you're at a crossroads in the spirit realm. But enough is enough. And God is giving you boldness, courage, and he's giving you the authority to step forward into the new in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen. Give us some hearts and likes in this place. Hallelujah. New places, new spaces, new faces, and new graces. This is a time right now for you to pray. And God is going to give you the clarity, the wisdom, and the direction of what is to come. I want to say one more thing. I see a lot of Pakistanis on the broadcast today. Pakistan's in the bot. Amen. You see, the Lord said 5783 2023 this year would be a year of Psalm 23. Many of you who follow me, you know that I released that word way before many other prophetic voices tooted that word. But glory be to God. But Psalm 23, the Lord said this would be a year of Psalm 23, of divine direction. And of course, in Psalm 23, you see the good shepherd of our soul leading the church out of the valley, leading the church out of the valley of the shadow of darkness. Now, what does a valley stand for? A valley stands for a low place. A valley stands for a low place. And in fact, in the valley, many times it's filled with darkness because if you're in the valley, the mountain peaks, highs are covering the sunlight. So therefore you're stuck in the shadow. Someone say amen. Someone say preach Dr. Ben. So a valley is many times a cold, dark, shadow place. And a valley is a place where... You are at a low place in your life. So in Psalm 23, we see the shepherd leading the church out of the valley. Some say amen. God is giving you divine direction. God is giving you wisdom and direction. And he's leading you out of the valley. And he's bringing you into a place of promise, prosperity, and abundance. Some say preach, Dr. Ben. And the Lord said that this would be a year of Psalm 23, of divine direction. I believe in these last three months of 5783, we're going to see great direction, connection, and we are going to see great leadership in these last three months. Why leadership? Because you need to lead yourself. You need to follow the leader. There is a leading anointing. Come on, you're the head, not the tail. You're the leader, not behind. But there is a leadership anointing for you to trailblaze, pioneer, and break through into new realms of the spirit and the natural realms of God. Someone say amen. So I believe God is giving you divine direction. How so? Psalm 23. He anoints my head with oil. What does that mean? That means he's anointing your mind. Now, anointing the head stands for kingship and leadership and authority. Absolutely. However, anointing the mind means sanity. It means clarity. Oof. It means soundness. It means that your mind is now anointed with the mind of Christ. Wisdom, visions, revelation, dreams. You are about to see prophetically in the spirit. You're about to see, and you are about to move, and you are about to enter and possess the promised lands of God. Someone say amen. Now, I want to prophesy to you. Hallelujah. Because I believe right now, the Lord is saying you are in a valley of decision. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And I believe right now, as you weigh these opportunities, as you weigh your possibilities, the Lord is saying, do not hold back. 
Do not hold back. Shatana mata. Do not hold back. Do not waver. Do not teeter totter in fear, in doubt, and in anxiety. But be bold and declare the word of the Lord. And stand in the gap. Stand in the fork of the middle of the road. And begin to see confirmation. I declare confirmation over you in Jesus' name. Begin to see confirmation. And begin to see the word of the Lord manifest. And highlight. I prophesy that God is about to open up a door in your life. The door that you shall not go through is about to be closed. And even as Gideon asked for a sign, he spread out a fleece. And he said, if there is morning dew on the fleece, then that will be a sign for me to go forward. God is saying, ask for the sign. Ask for the confirmation. Ask for the sign from heaven above to confirm the word of God of what you must do in this season. I break off the spirit of indecision. I break off the spirit of anxiety. I break off the spirit of FOMO, where you have the fear of missing out. I break off the spirit of busyness and distraction. God is saying, get ready to advance forward and you will not be stuck to the gods of the past. You will not be stuck to the days of behind, but you will step into the future, into the realm of promise, abundance, and breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Begin to give us some hearts and likes and begin to pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Masakara brasata. There is an executive making anointing. You know, a lot of times we put things on the shelf. We put things on the back burner. It really is our own mind. Well, I don't feel like it. It's not a spirit of delay. It's just a spirit of laziness. Where we have allowed the, the lies of the enemy to infiltrate our mind. Where we continue to procrastinate in doing what the Lord has spoken over your life. I break off the spirit of procrastination. Amen. And there is divine movement and the breath of God of the second wind of 2023 is breathing over you in Jesus' mighty name. But the Lord says, stop procrastinating. Like when he rebuked me many years ago. And the Lord said, write the book. And I said, I don't want to write the book. And the Lord said, if you don't write the book, then I'm going to give the book to somebody else. And I wrestled with the Lord. I wrestled with God. I feel the Lord. I wrestled with God. And I said, God, I'm too busy. I don't have enough time. How do I write the book? All these questions, all these excuses, excuses, excuses. And the Lord said, if you don't write the book, I'm going to give the book to somebody else. And the Lord rebuked me. And the Lord is saying, how many times have I tried to call you? How many times have I tried to give you blessings Prophets, prophecy, miracles, and how many times have I shot? Have I tried to reach out to you? But you continue to say no, reject, throw your pity party, throw your childish tantrum, and act like a fool and cry and complain when the Lord has been trying to throw you a lifesaver, a life jacket. The Lord's been trying to help you and deliver you. For so many seasons, so many years. But we continue to reject it. Because we give him our excuses and our lip service. But you know what? I obeyed. And now we're writing books. Like we're popping out babies. Come on, baby. Shaka Rabasa. 
Somebody say hallelujah. Because once you break through a realm, then that realm continues to open up. Once you are faithful with the little, then you will become faithful over much. But hear me now, if you do not advance, then you give the enemy ground and territory. Then a foothold becomes a stronghold. Now, all of a sudden, one act of sin, one act of disobedience, it begins to build up a concentration camp of devils. And it becomes harder and harder and harder for you to do the right thing, for you to do the God thing, for you to obey, or for you to walk out in faith in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe right now, the Lord is breaking the spirit of apathy, complacency, procrastination, tiredness. You've been tired. You've been discouraged. It's just been hard for you to admit it. If that's you, say amen. If that's you, say that's me. It's been hard for you to come to a realization of yourself. And that's why this week was very important for me because I had to process my heart, my soul, and I had to evaluate where I am with God. And I had to evaluate where I am with the Lord in this season. Someone say amen. Fire. I declare fire. And the reason why some of you, it's hard for you to make the decision is because your soul is filled with nonsense. Your soul is filled with anxiety, doubt, fear, past traumas, toxicity, narcissism. Your soul, I feel the Lord, my goodness, pray right now. Jesus, your soul is still bogged down and bound to the past. But I declare freedom over your mind, freedom over your heart, freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Your body will begin to obey the word of the Lord. Your body is going to come into alignment. Shot out with the mind, the head, and that's Jesus. Because Jesus is the head. I declare now God is putting your enemies to rest. The indecision, the double-mindedness, there it is. The double-mindedness is coming to an end. How many of you feel triple-minded right now? Double-mindedness is coming to an end. And I declare now the fire of God. In this transition, you will not die in this transition. You will not die in this wilderness. You will not die off in this transition. Come on, somebody. Someone said, preach, Dr. Ben. It was in the wilderness. Come on. They got delivered from Egypt and they had the opportunity to break through. But in the wilderness, they began to complain. In the wilderness, they looked back to Egypt. In the wilderness, they said, oh, we had meat in Egypt. And it was in the wilderness, that valley of decision. In the wilderness, that place of transition do i go back or do i break through do i stay back do i break through it was in that place where the israelites they complained and they cried and they stay stuck for 40 more years i believe we are in that realm or that open window right now of decision making destinies are at hand Destinies are at stake. Souls, nations, cities are at stake. Some would say amen. That's why we must pray. Pray, pray, pray. You need to separate yourself and pray. I'm very proud of the young man. Felipe messaged me last night. And he said, pray for him. He's going on to a silent retreat this week. Very proud of him. But many of you, the Lord is saying, hit the pause button. Push the start button and shut it off. Because there's a reset coming. There's a reset coming. Hear me now. And many of us are not ready for the reset. Many of us are not ready for the reset. Even the globalist reset. 
All right, amen. And as I'm praying at the 5784, praise God, the Lord has given me downloads of what we must expect in the next three months and even for the new Hebrew year 5784 and 2024. But God is wanting to give resets and many of us are not even ready for the reset. Do you not understand that as November comes along, which is the elections, the presidential elections, do you see these eyes? As we step into the presidential election race, get ready church. It's gonna be on like Donkey Kong because the devil knows his time is up and he's gonna to try to wreak more havoc and chaos and destruction before his time is up. Someone say amen. But we declare a reverse of the curse and an overturning. And we declare Jezebel shall be struck and brought down. And we declare the high places, the lofty places will be brought low and the low places will be raised up. And the Lord is clearing the way. He is clearing the path. Prepare the way of the Lord, says God, for the coming King, for the glory of God. Prepare the way of the Lord, for God says, I'm clearing the path before you. I hear the Lord saying this, I'm clearing the air and I'm clearing your paths. I'm clearing the air, I'm clearing your tables, and I'm clearing your paths. Someone say amen. Rebe Setama, I would rather fall on the rock than have the rock fall on me. And in this season, the Lord is saying, do you want to stay stuck in the wilderness? Or will you press in and press through in prayer, in submission to the Holy Ghost, amen? And will you allow the Lord to begin to move you and transition you into the greatest transition of your life the greatest transition of your life i'm telling you since i believe 2024 it's going to be a phenomenal glorious year oh my goodness oh shut it 2024 is going to be a year unlike any other some say hallelujah I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Give us some hearts and likes. Shamama, I declare these three weeks of Tammuz. Lord, I thank you. I think we're right in the middle of it too. Lord, if I've found favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are. I've crossed the highest mountains. I've traveled near or far for your glory. I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king for your glory i will do anything just to see you hey to be old you as my king i want to be where you are i've got to be where you are I want to be where you are. Hallelujah. I've got to be where you are. Sha -na 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 -na. For your glory. Sha -na -na -na. I will do anything. Rebe se tamata. Sha -na -mama rebe. Rebe Setanamata. My goodness. My goodness. Yep. We are in the middle of the three weeks of Tammuz. And the three weeks officially ends next week. July 27th. 
I want somebody to comment at July 27th. So we literally have a week and a half left of this valley of decision. A week and a half left of this valley of decision. Jesus. Shoo. Shoo. For your glory. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray. Shana mama. Rivera Baba Satara. Just enter into the throne room. Enter in to the Holy of Holies. Right now. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And all oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. It's cleansing your mind, cleansing your heart. Thank you, Father. I'm looking at the Hebrew calendar, sister. But the three weeks of mourning ends officially on July 27th. Amen. On July 27th. I plead the blood over your mind. I plead the blood over my family. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. And we will advance and we will go higher. We will break through in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And all of God's people say amen. If you are in the middle of the valley of decision. If you are in the middle of needing to make a big decision for the glory of God. If that's you, I want you to comment, that's me. And I want to pray for you right now. Amen. I want to pray for you right now, hallelujah, Rebese, that the Lord will lead you out of this valley, amen, the Lord will lead you out of this valley, and the Lord is going to give you divine direction and wisdom, so that you will make the right choices, you will make the right decision, hallelujah, thank you Lord, come on, keep praising him, keep blessing his holy name, hallelujah, the Lord is about to Open up an effectual door for your life. My goodness. I'm, I'm. Do not compromise by distraction. Don't settle for less. Thank you, Lord. God, I pray for Gabli Williams. Bless your child. Sola Parisidis, bless you. Tim Kenner, bless you. Regina, bless you. Karen, bless you. Jesus. Jesus. Michelle, bless you. Tabitha, bless you. D. Kachalahofer, bless you. Michael Deborah, bless you. I pray the Lord will smear and anoint your path with oil that your feet will be bathed in butter, that he would begin to oil up the path in front of you. Jesus. Alicia, bless you. Leticia, bless you. Renee, bless you. Prophet Ivana, bless you. Ruida, bless you. Jesus. And you know what? Not one of you will fall or fail. I declare Joshua over you right now. Meditate on his word day and night, night and day. So that in all of your ways, he will give you success. All of your ways. For as I was with Moses, so I am with you, Joshua. Hallelujah. 
Do not look to the left or to the right. As I was with Mo, I will be with you, says God. So get ready for Joshua and Caleb anointing for you to advance into the future of the glory of God. If you receive it today, I want to say amen. I break off double-mindedness. I break off procrastination and fear. I break off apathy and complacency. Fire! Rusata! And I thank you for breakthrough, for the glory of God. Listen, I just heard in the spirit, baby, some of you are about to give birth in a natural and a supernatural. So get ready for a new baby, a new birthing in the spirit. Mm. Somebody say hallelujah. I actually saw a name and that's where I got, I saw the baby. And I'm not gonna prophesy over that over you. Actually, I will. Michael and Deborah, baby. Baby. Michael and Deborah, baby. Come on. You, you, you reply right now. If you're trying, expecting, believing. But I saw a baby in the spirit over you, Michael and Deborah. And I believe that stands for a new season, a new birth Shoo, for you. Someone say amen. Glory be to God. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Reba Sama Takarabra. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Someone say amen. Now lift up your hands. Father, bless your people. I pray for the oil of decision-making, the anointing of decision-making. Do not be surprised that certain relationships begin to fall. Don't be surprised that certain doors begin to close. Do not be surprised when certain desires are no longer applicable to you today don't be surprised it means you have shifted you've transfigured and God is changing I prophesy course correction I prophesy course correction is coming to you in Jesus name come on if you believe it say amen come on give the Lord a mighty clap hallelujah my goodness if you receive today say amen I, I sincerely believe this word today is one of the most important words that I've shared in a long time. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Now friends, if you're believing for a big breakthrough in terms of decisions, I want you to say amen and give us some hearts and likes. Now listen, Michael and Deborah respond. Are you guys expecting or trying or talking about it, okay? But anyways, listen, I want you to sow a seed and bless the Lord. I want you to bless this ministry, amen. I want you to bless this ministry and bless the Lord. Uh, tonight, I'm flying off to Samoa, the great island nation of Samoa. And uh, I'm going to be ministering at two conferences, crusades in Samoa this weekend. So keep me in prayer, I have a long flight ahead of me. So I'm gonna be in Samoa, then Fiji, then next week, we are gonna be in Hawaii. We're gonna be in Hawaii next week. So that's gonna be awesome. Sub EV. And uh, EV does not mean evangelist, it means an electric vehicle. But uh, next week, I'm gonna be in Fiji and Hawaii. And you already know, uh, we have Steve Swanson, Prophet Charlie, and Bryn Shamp with me in Hawaii. It's gonna be awesome, amen. Wow, Melissa, you had a dream. Wow, you had a dream that Michael and Deborah. Wow. And of course, we're all friends because that's my AZ, my Arizona crew. But uh, if you're blessed, I want you to sow a seed. Amen. Praise God. Apostle Pamela, I'm praying for you, woman of God. Good to see you. I've been praying for you since our clubhouse broadcast last week. But uh, I'm going to be flying off to Samoa tonight. And I'm going to be ministering in Samoa and Fiji and then Hawaii. 
and literally I'm going to be out of the country. I mean, Hawaii is America, but I'm going to be away from the mainland of America for five weeks. So I'm going to be in Asia. I'm going to be, it's going to be awesome. I'm coming to Singapore, coming to Malaysia and Indonesia in the month of August. So glory to God. But uh, I want you to sow a seed. If you believe this is the word of the Lord, if you believe that God is releasing a decision-making anointing. And if you are sowing a seed, I want you to comment breakthrough, amen. I want you to comment breakthrough. Praise God. Comment breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Because I believe there's breakthrough in your decision making coming breakthrough in your decision making glory to god did you receive today did you receive from this breakthrough broadcast amen i really believe wow i i i'm just flooded with revelation right now i'm flooded with revelation a word and rhema right now amen but glory be to God for all he's doing. So if you are sowing a seed, I want you to comment breakthrough. Amen. And like I said, tonight, tonight, I'm going to Samoa. And that's going to be exciting. So pray for us. Pray with me. And from Samoa, we're going to Fiji, then Hawaii. Then from Hawaii, I'm going over to Singapore, then Malaysia. Got a packed, packed weeks coming up praise god but as you are sowing in this atmosphere a breakthrough i want you to comment breakthrough as you are sowing amen because i believe every word that the lord has spoken will come to pass and not one will fall to the ground amen thank you vicky bless you glory be to god Sharabata. Glory be to God. Alicia Allen, bless you. Oh, how exciting. Yes, like I said, tonight I'm flying off to Samoa. Then I'll be in Fiji. Then Hawaii. Maryland, bless you. Then um, Singapore, Malaysia. Michael Deborah Escobar. Then I'm going to go over to Indonesia. A lot of glory, a lot of souls. Melly, bless you. Apostle Pamela, bless you. Thank you, Father. Dana Elizabeth, bless you. Alicia Allen, bless you. It's weird. You know, some of the names, or maybe it's just the timing. On my laptop versus my phone where I'm doing the broadcast. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Sharon, bless you and bless you. Oh, Jackie, I'm, I'm right there. There's a link. The link tree. Benlam Ministries. Amen. Thank you to all of you that are sowing and just responding to the Lord with a heart of worship. Amen. Now, I also want to talk to you about our Hawaii conference. Hawaii is going to be awesome. And we actually start on the last day of Tammuz or the last day, excuse me, of the three weeks. So July 27th to the 30th, myself, Prophet Charlie and Bryn Champ, Steve Swanson. Listen, if you're not able to fly in, drive in, swim in, then I, I encourage you, register online and be a part of the online broadcast. It's going to be so, so powerful, this online broadcast. So can't wait to see you in Hawaii. Myself, Prophet Charlie and Bryn Shap and Steve Swanson. It is going to be epic. Amen. Well, I hope you were blessed today by this word. And do consider giving this page a like, a follow. Follow me on my other platforms. 
Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and here, Facebook, and do consider subscribing and being a part of our BAM fam. Amen? Well, bless your friends. I love you. Have a great day. Keep me in prayer as I fly off tonight to Samoa, and I'll see you soon.